But when it comes to language of breath, breathworker school, and why we use cold, it is primarily to work with this inner relationship that we have. And mm-hmm. so this is the big thing that what like kind of the, the really the foundation of the language of breath is that you are a conscious and unconscious organism that 95% of your brain activity is unconscious processes that are, we, sometimes we say they're running in the background, but they, they dictate what you think about, how you feel about those things, how you perceive the world around you, how you interact with other people. I mean, it's not just background stuff. This mm-hmm. is it literally, it is more of you than what we believe to be the conscious you. And so one of the big things that it will do is it, it's always going to try to protect you from danger. And when this happens, so whenever it perceives danger, it's a great opportunity to learn how to speak back into that relationship, safety, uh, if it's appropriate. Maybe it, maybe you're really getting chased after by a bear. Actually, in Knoxville, we had a couple bears. They were, they were just the harmless little fuzzy black bears. They were nice mm-hmm. bears, but we actually did see a few bears. But, you know, if you're actually getting chased after by a bear, okay, you're not going to breathe back into that relationship. No, let's stay calm. But if you are at work and you are getting yelled at by your boss, that unconscious you, it goes with this old game plan that all of humanity, we don't realize we have, but the unconscious you still plays by the old game plan. And that is this, you are an organism of action. And that, that, that's going to be physical action. So if you're in a stressful situation, what that feeling of stress actually is, is energy. And we know it is sort of mm-hmm. intuitively, like when you think about it, it's like, oh yeah, actually that's true. My heart's racing and I feel clammy and things like that. We understand it to a certain degree, but physical action isn't appropriate in most situations in the modern world. So what we do is in the language of breath, it's a, it's a process of training this team to work as a team, right? This conscious, the unconscious, we want to make them work as a team, as opposed to what for most of my life. And I would say for most, most people experience as I have all this stress and anxiety. I have no idea where it's coming from. I feel like there's something wrong with me. I, you know, it's the boogeyman. Like it's this Mm -hmm. horrible thing that keeps me up at night. And all of those things are actually parts of you that are trying to help you. Mm. But no one ever told me that. And so, so I had to find it out slowly over time. So coming back to the ice bath, I, and, and I appreciate you just letting me kind of take the circular way to why ice bath. Well, you know, for language of breath, it's not because it's going to cure, you know, all the diseases or it's going to make you live forever or you're not going to have colds again or whatever. Yeah, there are biological benefits and those are in my book. But for language of breath, It is an opportunity to put yourself into a situation where the unconscious you is going to do everything that it can to make you take action and get out of there, right? It's a lethal force that if experienced in a short dose is safe. (laughs) So what we do is we say, okay, we like in our workshops and our retreats, we will teach you how to speak calm back into the unconscious, back to that team that is you. Mm. And then we'll put you in a situation where all the alarm bells are going to go off and Mm -hmm. you can start to experience and and practice this in, in a safe environment, you know, rather than saying, okay, now here's the lions now run and then try to, you know, no, this is a safe environment. We can start to breathe back some safety. And I started using this, of course, 